Emma. I'm from the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art here today for Art in Action from Home. I want to start by reading one of my favorite books. It's called My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. And this book is going to get us thinking about the ways that artists use color um, in their artwork, the way that artwork can express emotion through color, and the way that we can use color as artists to think about expressing our own emotions. So uh, we'll start by reading the book together, and then I'll show you um, how I would go about making a collage talking about my many colored days. My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow, some are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. Then comes a yellow day, and wee! I'm a busy, buzzy bee. Gray day. Everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. Then, all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep in the sea, cool and quiet fish, that's me. On purple days, I'm sad, I groan, I drag my tail, I walk alone. But when my days are happy, pink, it's great to jump and just not think. Then come my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl at every cloud. Then comes a mixed up day and wham, I don't know who or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see, and I go back to being me. So collage means to glue or to stick together. And today we're going to be gluing or sticking together any kind of paper that you have on hand at home. So at my house we have a lot of magazines. And so you can see the paper that I've spread out here are just little pieces cut out of magazine pictures. And I like using uh, paper that's all the same thickness. So using a magazine is great because it's really thin, really colorful, and you're able to get a lot of variety. But you could also use newspapers, mail, any special paper you have at home, old drawings or artwork, photos. Um, it doesn't really matter what you use. You also need a pair of scissors and a glue stick or a paste and a brush, as well as a base that you're going to be um, making your artwork on top of. I'm just using a, a plain white piece of paper. And I also want to encourage you to try planning out your collage before you uh, glue it down. As you're planning out your collage, I want you to think about the question, what color describes how you feel today? And because different colors mean different things to different people, um, I also encourage you to try combining colors and animals to express different feelings in your work of art. Dr. Seuss did a really nice job of that. And the example I come back to is the, the horse who's kicking up his heels, the red horse. And uh, red for a lot of people could mean um, anger, it could mean excitement, it could mean power, it could mean love. There's so many different meanings for different people with red. And so um, having that energetic horse there really emphasizes Dr. Seuss's point that this is for him, this red color um, is about power and energy. So for my collage today, I chose blue and green colors, and I just cut these out of magazines that I had lying around my house. 
and I made a sharpie outline on a piece of paper of a sea turtle. So the sea turtle is an animal that for me represents um, calm and peacefulness. I love the idea that turtles carry their homes with them and live in a really turbulent place. The ocean has a lot going on, just like our world, um, but that sea turtles are kind of calm, quiet animals amidst it and are able to float along um, with the turbulence of the ocean. So um, the colors I chose are also to get at that idea, this feeling of, of calm amidst a storm. And I wanted to um, combine the animal and the colors um, just to make sure that there's some, some clarity in what I'm expressing in my artwork. So I filled in the shell of the sea turtle with blue and I'm adding some greens to the um, uh, flippers, arms and legs of the sea turtle and its head. And once I get all the pieces in place glued down, I can actually go in with my scissors and um, because I used a permanent marker, it bled through a little bit to the other side of the paper and I'll be able to see my line to cut out the outline of my shape. And there it is. Looking forward to seeing what you all make and hearing what colors you're feeling today. Thanks for joining us for BEMA's Art in Action from Home.